In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of unlimited elements and edit an existing widget inside of the widget library using the widget editor. Not many know that all of the widgets by unlimited elements were created using the widget creator framework and they are editable with the widget editor inside of our framework. Today, I'm going to show you how to add your own attributes inside of an existing widget from the library. So over here, for example, I'm right now in the icon boxes category. And what I want to do is actually edit this one. It's called twist hover icon box. If I click the preview button over here, I can see how it looks. So it's a really cool hover effect, pretty simple. And what I want to do is actually add a link field over here so users can have a call to action button. So let's close the preview and get started. To edit inside of the widget editor, all you need to do is double click on the widget. So double click and this opens the framework where you can add attributes, edit the HTML, edit the CSS, JavaScript in the cases there is some. So our widget framework is really, really flexible. Let's jump into the HTML first of all and see how that looks. So HTML, and over here you can see it's pretty simple. There's an icon, there's a title, and the content. We want to add under the content, I'm going to open a new div. So just simple HTML. And over here right now, we're going to start with static HTML. So let's add our link. This is going to be our link. And href equals, let's put a hashtag right now. And I'm going to add the text learn more. Click update to save and we can preview the widget inside of the framework. So I'm going to click preview and there you go. Our link is added. The thing is that this link is not editable right now and each user and each instance of the widget on the page will need to have a different link and maybe some different text. So let's see how we can do that. Back to our editor, closing the preview and jumping into attributes. These are the editable fields right now that are editable in the Elementor editor. So let's add a new field. I'm going to click add attribute and over here let's add the first one is going to be for link text. So I'm going to write over here link text. I'm going to click tab to populate the name field and over here is our default text. Our default text is going to be read more and click add attribute. Now the attribute has been added. You can delete attributes, duplicate attributes. And what I'm going to do is jump back into the HTML and I'm going to replace the text with the attribute that I've just added to make this editable. And right here on the right side, you can see all the attributes that you have in this list, in the attributes tab, and just select what you want to replace and click on the attribute in the right side panel. Awesome, so we got that set up. Now before I'm going to make a dynamic link, let's just test this out. So I'm gonna add a new page, let's, do that in a new tab, actually. We can close this one. And let's do twist demo and edit with Elementor. Gonna search for the widget, drag it inside, and there you go. Here's our link, and we can change the text. That's what makes the framework so awesome. So that's right over here. For example, if I want to change it from read more to learn more, 
there you go and you can see it's changing live in the Elementor editor. Another quick thing I want to show you is that you can quickly edit these widgets, any unlimited elements widget from the advanced section over here. Just click edit widget HTML and that will quickly open the HTML tab inside of the widget editor. Over here inside of the attributes, I'm going to now add a different attribute, not a, a text attribute. Over here, you can see that's a text field. Let's add a new one. And this time I'm going to add a link field. So over here, I'm going to call it link. And in the default value, I'll just put hashtag and click add attribute. Inside of the HTML, we're going to replace our static hashtag link into our new link attribute. So just click over here, link, and it's replaced the static with a dynamic field. When using links, you're going to also need to add the link attributes. We just do that after the href attribute and click link HTML attributes. Update to save. Back to our editor. I'm going to click publish before I'm going to refresh the page. Refresh the page and now you will see that we have another setting inside of our widget settings that we can edit and this is a dynamic field it has all the options inside of elementor to maybe trigger a pop-up or do all the awesome stuff that elementor lets you do so that was just a really quick example of how you can edit existing widgets from the library and take advantage of unlimited elements see you next time